Psycho Viewmaster, a leader in children's entertainment, presents a video episode of that all-time favorite children's TV show, Captain Kangaroo. Have to do what by yourself? Oh, but he wants me to help him draw a picture of the most interesting person he's ever met. And we can't think of anybody. You uh, really can't think of anybody interesting? Not at all? Oh, we can't draw you, Captain. Why not? Oh, well, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just that you're <clears throat> too old. Too old? Well, I mean, see, Bunny has to draw a picture of somebody his own age. You know, oh. so can you help us out? Well, what kind of a person would you like to draw? Well, that's it. That's the problem. We don't know. That's why we need your help. Well, how about a race car driver or a circus acrobat, uh, a, a water skier, uh, a clown? Well, see, we need somebody our own age. But these are not grown-ups I'm speaking about. Just watch. My name is Matt Wolfgang. I'm 12 years old. I'm from Pennsburg, Pennsylvania. My name is Stacy Geary. I'm 11 years old. My name is Travis Dylan Orles. My name is Tony Hernandez. I'm an acrobat. Wow! Boy, those are great suggestions, Captain. Well, I guess we won't be having much more trouble after this, do you think, though, buddy? Right. But can we see some more? Oh, precisely why I'm here. First, let's meet Matt Wolfgang, a race car driver. The All-American Soup Box Derby is, is made up of a bunch of boys and girls from all over the country, and every year hundreds of kids compete for the title. In order to race in the Soap Box Derby, you must build your own car. My father also helped me design the car. In order to come to Akron, you must win your local championship. So actually, Akron is the World Series of Soap Box Racing. What makes a Soap Box car unusual is that it has no motor, and runs by the force of gravity that pulls it down a hill. Each heat is a separate race, and if you win four, you will win the championship. In the senior division, to do well, you need a streamlined car. The space inside the cars are so small that you can barely fit. From the outside, it looks like you, can, you can't see out, but from the inside, you can see out through an eighth inch crack, which is enough to control the car. On the day of the race, the track was very nerve wracking, but after I won three heats, I was really confident then. A good driver can't hear the crowd because he's paying attention to his driving. Driving straight means a lot in a race. The top speed of these cars is usually about 30 miles an hour. You can see the finish line coming up very fast. And the winner, according to our judges, lane number three, Matt Wolfgang, Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. That one. I don't know. Matt Wolfgang. Ready? I had no idea. <laughs> At the end, I guess I was very excited. Pretend I'm really famous, I drive a racing car. I've broken lots of records, I'm the best so far. Pretend I'm getting ready for some important race. I'm nervous, but I know I'm gonna win first place. Oh boy, wouldn't that be super to do? Something to see. But I'm not really famous, I drive a little car And in the soapbox derby I'm the best so far I concentrate on learning the things a driver should And by the time I grow up I'll be really good Oh boy, wouldn't that be super to do 
something to see. I'm only still pretending, but someday I will be a famous driver in a real grind free. A very famous driver. A very famous driver. A very famous driver. So what do you think? Boy, I want to do that. Wait, 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 not yeah, so fast. Yeah, what do wait, I wait, do? wait, wait, wait. Before you start out to become a, a driver in the soapbox derby, yeah. why don't you check out a few more possibilities? Okay, what's next? How about a clown? A clown? Yeah. I'd love to be a clown. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Money would like to be a clown too. Well, okay. What do you have to do? First, I'd suggest we go to school. School? Clown school. Oh. I learned something about being a clown today. I went with some of my friends to a clown school called If Every Fool. Right, yes. And do the right... You don't usually think of school and clowning together. But if you want to be a clown, you have to study just like anything else. Not put out all... One of the teachers at the school is Yuri Belov. Yeah. So you want to be a clown, I suppose, yes. What you want to do, what you have to do, the first thing is to be a clown is a very serious profession. You have to learn much that to become a clown. You have to be an actor, like a good drama actor, too. Yuri Belov was a famous clown in Europe and the director of the Moscow Circus. Gimmicks. First, my friends and I learned some of the techniques in clowning. Why do you... Oh, good. To be a clown, you have to want to make people laugh. First, you start with a gimmick. Chasing your own hat. <laughs> laughing. Oh, go! Oh, go! Pretend slapping. Oh, go! No! Then Joe Killian, one of the professional clowns, and Tanya, one of the other clowns, and all the kids, rehearsed a clown act. My favorite part is the juggling. I've been practicing for half a year. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good. There you go. There you go. Good. Good. Try one more time. Okay. Then we had a chance to really be clowns. We were on a big stage at Lincoln Center. Hundreds of kids were looking at us. It's pretty easy to be a clown. It's fun to do in a way, and most things that are fun are easy. Today, I think the audience had a real good time, and I had a great time, too. That's it, Captain. I want to be a clown. Yeah. Definitely a clown. Uh, it looks Wait. like both of you want to be a clown. Yeah. yeah. Well, clowning can be fun, no doubt about that. But why don't you both uh, take a little longer and check out some more possibilities? More? You mean there are things that might be even better than being a clown? Well, it's a possibility. I mean, you like horses, Do don't I you? Do I like horses? Sure. Like yeah. Yeah. You like horses, horses, right, buddy? Yeah. Sure. yeah. Well, take a look at Stacy Geary. She loves horses. Today is a very important day for Missy and me. It's the day of the Ridgewood Horse Show, one of the best shows you can be in. It's also an important day for my mom because she's my trainer. When Missy travels to a show, she has her own special car. We start getting ready for a show by brushing up Missy and getting her all pretty. She kind of likes that. We comb her mane and tail and braid them. We pick her feet out with a hoof pick 
in case she has a rock or something in her foot. Give her a few snips and get her real nice and clean. You have to take very good care of your horse. Looks are very important in this horse show. How you look in the horse looks. Try the flat saddle. Mm -hmm. You think you can get your heels down, get a real straight back, a real tall look, right? Mm -hmm. Shoulders back, hands real steady. Many kids come from different states to be in the show. The trainer is the person who helps you compete for awards in the horse show. Before the jumping, there is a chance for the horses to warm up. There is also a chance for my mom to give me some extra tips on how to ride. Your elbow in just a little bit, honey. I control Missy by using my hands and my legs. These exercises are called schooling. Enter. Courtesy circle. Pick up your canter here. Before I ride the course, I learn it and try to figure out how the fence is going to ride. After schooling, it's time to compete. Judges are going to watch me and Missy. We are going to be judged on how well we perform. Exhibitor on course number 302, Stacy Geary. Today, I have to ride Missy on a course with seven jumps. If I make a mistake on any jump, I probably won't get a very good score. Second place ribbon, number 302, Stacy Gary, Brooksville, Ohio. Just because you're a girl doesn't mean you have to play house and dolls or be a scaredy cat. You can do anything if you're a girl. The world is waiting for you, oh yeah. You're lucky, lucky girl. So many things you can be and do. You're lucky, lucky girl. Go be a doctor, go fly a copter, go be a leader. There's nothing to see you, hey, you lucky, lucky girl. The superwoman you'll be someday, you lucky, lucky girl. The door is open for all your hope and go make it happen, go on and win the world, you lucky girl. Captain, there are a lot of things you can be if you're a girl. But it doesn't really make any difference whether you're a girl or a boy. You can be either one, you know, and do all of these things as long as you do it well. Yep, I guess you're right. Whether you're a boy or a girl, you can ride a horse, be a clown, even ride in the soapbox derby. Yeah, that's right. You can even be a circus acrobat. No, a, a, a circus acrobat. Right, just like Tony Hernandez. Today I'm practicing doing layouts. A layout is a kind of somersault. When I practice, I have to wear a safety belt. When I fall, the safety belt catches me. When I practice, my dad helps me. You have to keep doing the trick until you do it right every time. This is my hardest layout. Now, push! All my brothers are in the act. My sister, too. My father says I'm the only boy in the world that could do this trick. Part of my dressing room is my classroom. My mother is also my teacher. I do pretty good in school. Some kids dream of running away to join the circus. I didn't have to run away. I was born here. Bye, have a good show. Oh, my God. 
circus. That's it! That's it, Captain! I want to join the circus and be an acrobat. And you too, Bun, huh? Well, you know, you don't have to be in the circus. There are other places if you like to tumble and fly. Well, I know one. You do? Yeah. Well, tell me. Okay. Uh, accordion. Accordion? Accordion, to my calculations, the things that most like to tumble and fly are... No, no, no! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Ping pong balls. That is not what I meant, Mr. Moose. Really? Oh, what did you mean, Captain? I meant gymnasts. Just watch them tumble and fly. Yes! 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 No! 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 Yes! No! No! To be a gymnast, you have to be flexible, strong, and graceful. You have to have a lot of guts. Dan is a really good coach because he's really strong. He's just a really good teacher. Okay, keep your arms straight all the time. On the bars, we did a glide, kip, front hip circle, cast up to a handstand. Okay, do it again. Okay. I spin, I soar. So much more, I'm in flight. I'm tumbling fast, I'm unsurpassed, I'm in flight. Dip and glide, I can ride the winds as they rise to the skies. I never pale, I always sail through the air. I can make up there if I dare High and low, watch me go I'm light, what a sight I'm in flight So what do you think, could you do that? <laughs> What are you up to? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> a leftover. They are good, though. Yeah, right. No, I could never do that. They're never out never. of your sight, are they? No, never. No, no, no. No. You know, if you're really interested enough in doing all of these things that we've been showing you uh, and do a lot of good hard work, I mean, you could become very good. Well, I guess you're right, Captain. Boy, how about those youngsters who perform in water shows? Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you some of them now. They're training to be in the show at Cypress Gardens. Chrissy Dersheimer is seven. She knows how to barefoot ski. That means skiing on the water without skis. You start on skis, but then you jump off. Just using your bare feet, you go skimming over the water. My brother Dick is a terrific barefoot skier. 
Sometimes he and Chrissy Dersheimer barefoot ski together. <laughs> Reggie Johnson can do some really neat stunts. His sister comes swooping down in a parasol. That's the kind of a parachute you can control. And he just goes sailing away into the sky. Smile big all the time. Make it look really professional, you know? You know what I mean, Ian? Try to say, hey, look at me. I'm doing something really neat here. And then they'll think you are, because that's what you are. You're kind of neat, you know? There's not too many kids. Sharice's dad, Len Nevikoski, like is the director right? of the Water Ski Show. OK, right. Today, Sharice's dad is going to teach the Cypress kids a new act. It'll be the first time we've tried to make a pyramid on our own. Ben, there you go. Give her a good step, Reggie. OK, Dick. Reach across now, Dick. Remember that. You're going to have to reach across a little bit sooner okay. because she's going to push you way over here if you don't. We weren't sure we could get our pyramid okay. together. We worked all afternoon. Now, Dick, remember, the most important thing you're going to do here... I never took off on the dock before and tried carrying a flag. Have a seat. I've never skied in a group of five before. OK, here we go. So hang on. First time out of the dock, I fell. Second time out of the dock, I fell. Third time out of the dock, I fell. If you want to learn how to ski, you have to get up and start all over again. Everybody ready? Rope's almost tight. Here we go. Hang on tight, Chrissy. Fourth time out, I made it all the way around. When you're on water skis and it's going well, you feel terrific. The wind goes whistling by. You can feel the water on your legs, okay, and you really feel like you're flying over the water. The most difficult part is getting to the top of the pyramid. When we finished the pyramid, I felt pretty good. For the first time, we all came together as a group. Now I think the Cypress kids can really make it as a team. Who needs skis? Who needs water skis? With my bare feet in the water, I can ski with ease. I don't need an excuse. I haven't any use for water skis that bother me. When my toes are free and loose, I'll admit that it tickles the soles of my feet. And there is just one thing that would really be neat. You see, standing is OK. But to make this ride complete, I wish I had a seat. I wish I had a seat. that without lots of practice. Absolutely right. That's the one thing that's important to realize. All of the things you've seen take lots of practice. Yeah. And the more you practice anything, the better you get. But you know, Captain, some of us, no matter how hard we practice, never get very good at those hard to do things. Well, that's true. But there are lots of things to do, even if you're not good at physical activities. Well, like what, Captain? Well, did you ever go to the zoo or a pet shop? Of course. Love the zoo. You think I could get a job at the zoo, Captain? You just might, when you get a little older. Boy, there's so many things to do, Captain. Yeah, that... Oh, you mean like skateboarding, like Bunny Rabbit is doing, huh? Yeah, <laughs> like Bunny, or Skateboard Johnny. Skateboard Johnny, who's that? What can you do with the skateboard, Johnny? What can you do with the skateboard, Johnny? What can you do with the skateboard, Johnny? Early in the morning. 
throw it in the air and ride along with it, heave it in the air and ride along with it, toss it in the air and ride along with it early in the morning. Why do you ride a skateboard, Johnny? Why do you ride a skateboard, Johnny? Why do you ride a skateboard, Johnny, early in the morning? I ride because it's quicker than walking, riding on wheels is quicker than walking. I don't feel like doing much walking early in the morning. Finally see you decided what to draw, huh? Yep, I sure have. But you have to guess. Well, if I had to guess, I'd probably think of, well, what we just saw, Skateboard Johnny. Oh, that's close. Close, but not quite. Close, but not quite. I give up. Okay, here it is. Oh, for goodness sake, look at that. Hey. It's Skateboard Bunny. What do you think? Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed our adventures today, going to see all sorts of things, the kinds of things that you can do, kids just like you. And I hope you'll join us for some more fun soon again. You can collect six different Captain Kangaroo tapes for your own video library. All of these entertaining live action episodes feature scenes from the Captain's favorite TV shows. Hours of fun and learning can be yours with Animal Alphabet. This sea lion, without half trying, can handle his frisbees and keep them flying. E is for eagle, an elephant too, mm -hmm. echidna, an ermine, an elk. Kids like you. My name is Matt Wolfgang. I'm 12 years old. I'm from Pennsburg, Pennsylvania. My name is Stacy Geary. I'm 11 years old. My name is Travis Dylan Earls. My name is Tony Hernandez. I'm an acrobat. Going places. Yeah, sir. I'm a very busy, very busy, very busy man. It's amazing how much work I've done since the day began. I'll never get it finished, but I'll do the best I can. I'm a very busy, very busy, very busy man. Counting with the captain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Favorite stories. I can take books from my bookshelf and I can learn about the circus. I can have fun. I can be sad. I can learn about other people who live in places far, far from where I live. Books are wonderful. I'm going to prove it to you now by reading you some very nifty stories that'll take you to all sorts of places. So join me and relax while I read you some wonderful, wonderful stories. This is a nice one called Barkley. Barkley had a job in the circus. He did tricks with four other dogs. Fun with baby animals. Oh, sorry. Uh, Bunny and I are planning something really big for the captain. Now, meanwhile, why don't you watch our friend Priscilla the baby gorilla? Priscilla is a very small gorilla. She is busy trying hard to figure out what this old world is about. Priscilla is very shy for a gorilla. And you sometimes have to coax her out to play when 
Kangaroo's best tapes. Get them at your favorite store, wherever video is sold.